meet Hussein. He loves soccer, playing video games and hanging out with his friends. He was born in Kenya, but moved to Australia with his family in 2009. My parents, both of them, were born in Somalia. From Somalia they went to Kenya because there was war in Somalia. And from Kenya they gave birth to me and my twin brother. And then they moved from Kenya because it wasn't as safe. They thought it would be a bad environment for me and my brother to grow up. So they, so they came to Adelaide and from then it's been like a great place to live. Australia's kind of known for being a multicultural country. More than a quarter of the population was born overseas. That rises to nearly half if you include everyone who has at least one parent born overseas. And while most immigrants to Australia are from the UK, as time's gone on, more people have come from places like China, India and the Middle East, as well as Africa. 380,000 people said that's where they were born in the last census. South Africa is at the top of the list by a big margin, with a population of more than 160,000 here, followed by Egypt, Zimbabwe, Kenya and Sudan. The reasons people come to Australia are very different. Some are here to work or to study, others because they have family here, and some arrive as refugees. People who are forced to leave their home country because their lives have been threatened by things like war and violence. In the early 2000s, Australia started taking in a lot more African refugees. Many came from Sudan because of drought, famine and war. More than 10,000 Sudanese people arrived in Australia between 2001 and 2006. And over time, some brought other family members here to join them. And today, there are lots of African communities in towns and cities around the country. My first memory of coming to Australia, probably us going to our first house. Uh, I remember that my brother, Hassan, he was like shouting, he was screaming, he was like, he was singing because he was happy. While Hussein loves it here, he says there were some big adjustments. When we were younger, me and my brother, we knew Swahili. And when we made the move, we went to kindergarten and we couldn't talk English. And they asked my dad if they needed a translator who to, can talk Swahili and English to translate it to the teachers. But my dad told them that we need to learn English. So by the time we learned English, we forgot Swahili. Even though Hussein only speaks English these days, he's just started taking lessons to learn his parents' language, Somali. So my mum and dad decided that we need to learn it, so then we are not separated from our friends and family. Hussein says he and everyone else in his family is really happy to call Australia home. There's no wars, like, it's safe, and there's good schools here. Life is just better in Australia.